You're listening to the August 30th, 2020 reading of Blossom Goodchild's Channeling with the Federation of Light. My dearest friends, I'm finding it a bit tricky as to what to speak of, for you've spoken of these times and how best to get through them. There are many questions that are not appropriate for you to answer, you say, and I get that, so we wait. I also get why we wait, as so much is taking place behind the scenes that we can only catch glimpses of and still have no proof of truth. So my question today is, where do we go from here? Dearest Blossom, dearest souls of light, who are winning through with every thought of goodwill and kindness and understanding and love. You say you are waiting, and yet, in actual fact, we would not look upon this as a waiting time. We would look upon this as a time when much, so much work, can be done by you in order to assist. We fully understand frustrations involved and our understanding also of the great divide that is taking place. There is confusion. There's despair. And yet, there's so much hope. In the knowing that this time which you're experiencing is taking you through to the new habitat, the new way, the new human. The new human? Please explain that before some jump to the conclusion that you mean half man, half robot or something. The new human. The human being that one has not been allowed to be for so very long upon your planet. The new human who does not feel confused or abhorred by that which they hear. For all the energy that one is to be walking into, through, will be of such high quality such joy, and all that joy brings. The new human that has no jealousy, greed, discontent, or thoughts of ill will toward another. The new human that was taken away a long time ago and replaced with one that does not know of the true self, the glory of what a human being is. This knowledge is to be returned to you when one has moved through to a position whereupon the truth of oneself can be felt, exposed, exalted in freedom once again. When you say taken away, what do you mean? We mean that strategies were put in place that damaged most of the true self. What kind of strategies? Programming to bring one's senses into a space of lethargy, and all that the energy of a low vibration puts upon the human mind. You see, dearest souls, you think that even when you feel really happy, that this is as good as it gets. We would tend to disagree entirely. When you are feeling really happy, that is your natural flow of life. How you were designed to be. In another kind of program... Not in the way you think. Not in the way of the program, the spell that you are under. That made me think of an image of us trying to push through a ceiling. Many people feel we live within a dome. Do we? One's interpretation of one thing can vary greatly depending on one's perspective of that one thing. We would express it this way. You have been programmed... And yet we do not mean as in setting you up as in a computer game and its workings per se. More in the filtering through of effective substances that dull and unmotivate. Your incredible minds have been quashed into a lull of trudging along. We repeat, even when you are feeling high, it is not your true high. Yet it feels so good to us when we are in that space. And we would say, just you wait, souls upon the earth plane. Just you wait. Seems we don't have a choice. Yet you have the choice to know, trust, that this glorified version of your earth plane lies ahead for each one. And within that knowing, your strength grows, your vibration lifts. 
and you serve your purpose in bringing this to fruition. Make use of this time. Be of great service during this time. Know. Know. Know that everything is to change for the greater good. When every particle of your beingness knows this, you yourself will change. You will feel bit by bit the transforming of your entire being. And let us tell you, it will feel good. I feel we may need to elaborate on the taken away thing a bit more. We do not feel this is necessary. For dearest souls, our family, our friends, our neighbors. Neighbors? That's a first. You can come and borrow a cup of sugar any time, day or night. We thank you. Yet that which we know to be sugar is of little use to us. Please, continue. So much of that which you are beginning to understand. Subjects that are having their lids removed are allowing your truth, the inner knowing, to make sense of what we say without having to go into every detail. Soon enough, oh, so soon enough, will your knowingness of truth be presented on screens and devices. Before your eyes, you will not only be shocked beyond wildest thoughts you have had in ways of darkness and all that has been taking place on your planet, yet know too the delight, the absolute delight that is to come to counteract the dark days that one has endured shall lift the vibration of your Mother Earth and all that are of her at this time. All that have battled on through the darkest of days, the most delicate of truths shall be told and recognized. There shall be a turning point, a very noticeable turning point in all of this that is taking place. Will the upcoming announcement be this turning point? No. Yet, it will be a game-changer. I'll be your best friend if you give me a clue. <laughs> I think I've tried this tactic once before. Didn't work then, either. Blossom. Dearest, dearest Blossom, we admire your tenacity. Well, one has to keep trying. Things change, and you may be able to offer a wee snippet. And spoil the surprise? To be honest... I hadn't been thinking in ways of it being a whoop de doo surprise, more like a what-the-f kind of surprise. As you say, Blossom, one shall just have to wait and see. Fair enough. I respect that you're not going to succumb, and you must have your reasons for that, for it could blow apart plans that have been so strategically put in place. Yet... The frustration of this entire situation can leave one in a place of such uncertainty like we have never experienced before. Dearest Blossom, keep in mind also that there is more of this to come. Oh, joy of joys, more uncertainty. Yes, for quite a while. And yet we say it is for you to trust and know that all is as it should be. These phases that are to be moved into as more and more depths of this current situation are presented will not necessarily bring contentment to all for some time to come. Yet we ask you to read between the lines. Your lines or that which we're being told? Both. It is imperative, essential, that you hold onto your light that you remember that this now, 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 this that you are experiencing is the whole reason as to why you are here. You know in your heart, even though you question now and again. It seems that all that is taking place on your planet is because of the releasing of all that has been kept under wraps 
and allowing souls to see things for how they have truly been. So very much expanding over so many issues will come to the surface. Blowing your minds and your feelings to the outer perimeters of your beliefs and understandings. Yet, souls of light, you knew. You knew. You knew this time would come. And as we have reiterated so many times before, you were all so keen to jump in and get the job done. You knew too that this was not a kamikaze mission. You did not come to die for your cause. You came to live. Live in a way that is unknown to you because it was not wanted by those who desired world domination. You are here to see this change through. You are here to lead the way. Home. 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 It reminds me of E.T. with his red bulbous finger pointing to the skies. A touch of truth. Dearest souls, in these times of such upheaval and disturbance to the core of your being, refrain from confusion and anger and bewilderment and sadness and take one moment, one moment at any time you choose, to close your eyes Inhale deeply and say, I am the light. I am the love. I am the truth. I am. And in each moment that you choose to do so, feel the connection with the divine source. With home. With each other. In every feeling of a downcast thought. In any feeling of struggle within the mind. Take one moment, one moment at any time you choose to close your eyes, inhale deeply and say, I am the light, I am the love, I am the truth, I am. And in each moment that you choose to do so, feel the connection with the divine source, with home with each other. Need we say more? We know that this is all you need to know. The only thing you need to see you through. All your other wants and questions and answers needed are not an essential part of your role right now. I get that. Yet we're such an inquisitive race. I mean, wouldn't you want to know what is really going on? Well, you probably already do. What I mean is, if you were down here in the thick of it and everything was so up in the air. Yes, we probably would. Yet, no, you will know. This unfolding of truth is to be told, bit by bit by bit in order for one not to implode with disbelief. I'll just sneak this one in. So this announcement, or, and future announcements, as I believe you've said there's a much bigger one to be made down the track than the one we're currently waiting for, is not going to reveal everything all at once. That would not be wise. To absorb and accept in small quantities shall be the order of what is to come, to be revealed. And we have surmised that even when the truth is handed out to all on a plate, there will still be souls who simply will be unable to process it. What will happen to them? We do not know. They will have choices, as will all. Remember, this has never taken place before. So the reaction of millions of souls cannot be assumed. This is also something that has to be taken into consideration. Far out. I'm glad I'm not on the board of directors for this plan. More than happy to be the tea lady and do my bit wherever I can. 
which Blossom Good Child is exactly what you are doing. One lump or two. Oh, no, you don't take sugar. <laughs> we, we love you. Thank you. In gratitude, in loving service, I am.